close by. What is going on everyone and welcome to a Sea of Thieves a Pirate Life Guide. This video is going to be relatively spoiler free as I'm just going to be showing you how you can get all of the commendations. I won't be ruining the story, so I promise you this video will be okay to watch and you won't have any major storyline plots ruined for you. If you want to have any tool tale guide on YouTube, feel free to subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And if this video helps you in any way at all, leave a like to show your support as that would be greatly appreciated. If you are stuck on any steps, please post them down in the comments below and I or someone from my community will do our best to help you and hopefully get you through whatever you're stuck on. So with that out of the way, sit back and relax. We're going to go through how you can complete Sea of Thieves a Pirate Life in the most spoiler free way possible. So to start this tool tale, you'll need to go to the Castaway Camp. The Castaway Camp is located on any outpost in the Sea of Thieves world. Make your way down there and interact with the boat to start this tool tale. From that point on, you will have some commentary given to you by the mysterious stranger and eventually a portal will open. The portal that opens will be not far from the location you are currently standing. Go through that and you'll be officially starting the tool tale. I'm going to skip this part here, but you will see a cutscene and hear some great things for the story. Once you have gone through the cutscene, you'll make your way onto the island and it will look something like this you see in the video. Follow the path I take in the video. This will take five to ten minutes if it is your first time going through it but I promise you it's really, really simple. If you're confused at any step, watch this video I've got in the background and slow it down as it will show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to unlock every section of this entire walkthrough. It's important to note you'll need to do a few things. You'll need to light up some lanterns along the way, collect some interactables, and destroy and interact with the world around you. It's really not too hard, there's only one way you can go to get this right, and eventually you end up in a location known as Dead Man's Grotto. Now, Dead Man's Grotto is where the entire interactable experience starts with the Sea of Thieves tool tale, and this is where you'll need to do all of the commendations. You can do these in any order, but I highly recommend you do it in the order that I suggest in this video. So first you'll need to free the skeleton captain from the cage. Now this can be done really simply. First of all, follow the path I take in the video and make your way into the bar. Behind the bar, there will be a pulley that you can interact with that will bring down a chandelier, and on top of that chandelier will be a key. Take the key out underneath the captain's skull, place it there, and then follow the route up the path I take, to lower him down. The way you get this skeleton captain down is by destroying the bit of rope that he is attached to. Unfortunately, it seems you cannot shoot it from the bottom and you do need to go from the top. The path I take in the video is the only path you can take to get up there. It's really simple. Once you've made it to the top, stab the rope and he will drop down, leading you to be able to unlock the key and continue on with this tool tale. From this point on, the captain's skull will tell you to interact with the world and continue the story, but I don't want you to do that. I want you to follow along and do the side missions that are required to get 100% completion in Sea of Thieves, A Pirate Life. So your next step will be finding poor Dougie, and I have made a video on this separately if you do want to watch that. But essentially, all you need to do is follow the path again I take in the video down to the docks on the southeast side. Once you have dug up Captain Dougie, light the light right next to him, and make your way over to where I go in the video to dig up his chest. You can pretty much dig up his chest instantly, it won't take any time at all. Once that is done, you'll need to return the chest back to Captain Dougie, give it to him, then open up the medallion and bring it into the bar room. Now the bar room is located not too far away from poor Doug. You'll need to place the medallion down on the chessboard as you'll need to have it there later. Putting it there now just makes those steps a little bit easier and can make you jump the gun and speed up this overall process. Now you'll be looking for a rum bottle to deliver into the chess room. For this, you'll need to go back to the other side of the map where you went up to get the captain's skull. There is an alternative way to get there, but the quickest way from the actual chess room itself is the path I take in this video. Redoing the parkour course across to that little pulley then going up there will take you to the right spot you need to be. Once you're at the interactable pulley, set them at about half each so you can jump across to them. You'll need to look for a little hole into the cave entrance that you'll need to jump into. You can either access this with a sword lunge or a simple jump depending on how you position the pulleys. It may take a few tries and if it does, just reclimb your way back up there. Once you make it into the cave, look for the bottle that is between all of the rum bottle crates and after that, take the rum bottle back down to the chest room to continue with this tool tale. If you don't already have the captain's skull for the story in there, you can bring it in there now, because what you'll need to do is fill up the tankards with rum. After doing that, you'll need to place the captain's skull on top of the headless skeleton to progress with the story, and then give them Dougie's medallion to initiate the game. Once you have initiated the game, you will be given the interactable key that is on the desk, and you'll need to make your way back over to that pulley system one last time to continue on with this tool tale. This part of the guide will take you to complete a ship of thieves, and it also requires you to go back to that same pulley system. 
system. This is the alternative path you can take in my video. Head over to the first pulley system and make your way up, making sure you or your teammates have the key in hand. Once you are at the top of the pulley system, head to the door that is just behind the entrance in front of you, using the key to unlock that. It's important to note inside of that room you can interact with the gold as it does give you something you can get in return. I believe it's only five to 6,000 gold, but it's worth it anyway. After collecting the gold, you can move on to the next set of the commendation list to 100% this. This one is a little bit trickier and it will require you to progress with a main story, so I'm going to avoid any spoilers here, but I'm going to explain what you need to do. Go to the ship behind the room with the gold and turn the sails so the brazier there has a clear line of sight with the lighthouse, as the lighthouse is the next step to completing this tall tale. Go back to the skull of Captain Bones, which you left inside the chess room on top of that skeleton, and take him over there into the lighthouse. I'm going to blank out the video here and pick up where this continues, but I promise you it's all story stuff and I'm not going to spoil it. Once you have placed the head of the captain on top of the skeleton, you'll need to go up to the torch that is used to light the next part of the story, do a full 180 and light up the brazier that you did free up from those ship sails. You can either choose to continue with the story here or go back and do this commendation. Either way, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you don't progress any further than lighting up the brazes that you need to do for the story. Whatever you decide to do, get off the lighthouse and go back towards the start of Dead Man's Grotto. You'll need to take an alternative pathway that we haven't been to yet. You'll notice a bridge has been lifted and a new area has been opened up. Head to the broken ship you see in this video, go right up to the top and interact with the books. I show all the journals here in the video, but what you want first of all is the headless monkey key. Take the headless monkey key you get next to the dead skeleton and open up the door off the side of the boat. Scattered around this shipwreck will be your first lot of journals that you will need to 100% this tall tale. You can either find them for yourself or follow where I show you in the video. Then all that will be left is to complete the other journals found by the main part of Dead Man's Grotto. These are scattered variously around the map, but the best thing I can recommend you do is go to Rare Thief, have a look online as they they do have the best journal location guides on the internet. That is a very detailed guide that, that can explain all the journal locations in way more detail than I can in this video, and that'll be all you need to do to complete all of the journals for this tall tale. From this point on, you'll just need to complete the story that is given to you to 100% this tall tale and everything will be done. It's important to note if you have lost the captain's skull, remember it's at atop the lighthouse where you left it following this guide. Again, from this point on, you have finished all of the interactable things you need to do to 100% this tall tale. It is now just a matter of following the main storyline, which I'm not going to spoil because it is really intensive and leads up to everything you need to know in the next four tall tales coming. If you would like to see more guides like this for all of the other tall tales, I highly recommend you subscribe to the channel as I do have them all up. And I believe it is the best place you can go on YouTube for tall tale guides. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you do want to catch me over on Twitch, I stream daily over there. We're going to be doing a bunch of speed runs of this tall tale as it is absolutely amazing and I enjoy doing it. And again, if you want to see any guides like this on YouTube, I do have all of them on my channel. Feel free to subscribe. And while you're doing that, leave a like on the video if it helps and let me know down in the comment section what your favorite tall tale is of the new set and what's your thoughts of the Pirates of the Caribbean crossover. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy your day. and I'm going to catch you all real soon. Goodbye for now.